Hello and welcome to the third scale of the tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing return values and if you haven't seen the previous two um, tutorials I would highly recommend that you do so. Um, you may get a little lost if you're really new to Scala. Um, okay, so you're going to want to create a new Scala project called returns or whatever you want to call it and a new Scala object called returns or whatever. And I have went ahead and created our, our main function uh, which should be getting pretty familiar. And basically, uh, if you're from C++ or Java, you'd expect a void here, which means that it's not returning anything. Or in C++, main does return something, but in Java, it's void. And in Scala, it's also void. Um, but Scala does not use the term void to describe nothing. It uses the term unit. So as, you, um, as the type goes after the variable name, the return type goes after the main method or the actual declaration. So um, it's complaining because if you have a return value you need to have an equals sign because uh, your the return is equaling the uh, value you specify. And the brackets here are optional. If you have multiple statements you're going to want the brackets but you don't need them. So print line let's say 5. Okay, and it printed 5, and we're not returning anything, so it's not going to complain. Um, again, if we just have this, it, it Scala infers that we're not returning anything since there's no equals, and we're pretty good there. So let's create a new um, function. Now let's name it get5, have it return an integer, and let's say 5. So there's no brackets here. Um, since we only have one statement, we don't need a bracket. And um, if you're from C++ or Java, you probably think there should be a return statement there. But you don't need the return keyword. You can just have a value there, and that will be what it returns. Um, and this is looks much more like math than it does code. And functional languages are like that. They are much more mathematically oriented. Um, OK, so uh, we can make this even shorter. Scala um, can infer that this is an integer from it being a 5. Um, and let's just test this real quick. Okay, get 5. And it prints a 5. And furthermore, we no longer need um, empty parentheses. So if you don't have any parameters, um, you, you don't even have to put the parentheses. You can just do def get 5 equals 5. And again, it prints 5. And you also will not call it using the parentheses. It's just get five. Okay, so now that we've explored uh, return values a little bit, let's go to tuples, which are multiple return values. Um, now, if you're from C++ or Java, then probably if you wanted to return multiple statements, you would use a, say, let's say, a vector, or a, you would store it in an object um, or something else. In Scala, you can return multiple values. So, just to make this a little bit easier on the eyes, we'll write int int. And basically what this is saying is that we're going to return two integers. You put it in parentheses and you use commas to delimit the two types. So, again, this is after the, the definition itself and we're returning two integers. And if we want to, and when we write that, when we return it, we'll actually put it in parentheses again and we'll, we'll return this entire statement. Um, let, let's rename this and make it a little bit more uh, oriented to this. Get 1, 5. So we want to get the values 1 and 5. So this will return 1 and 5. Um, and it printed 1, 5. Um, so say we wanted to Let's, let's just go ahead and get rid of this because it can infer all of that. So there's no need to write all of that crap. Um, uh, and no longer we no longer need parentheses here. Um, and we still get the same thing. So say we wanted to store the return of this. We'll store it in a val and we'll name it a and get one five. Okay. Should be working.
working. And again, we're printing 1, 5 because the value A is uh, equal to the tuple 1 and 5. So let's say we wanted to extract one value from the tuple. Well, there are, there are multiple ways to do this. And one of them being, you put the uh, values, it's, or the names of the variables itself into parentheses, and A will be equal to 1, B will be equal to 5. So let's print both of those. And we, we get the A, and then a space, and then 5. And let's say that you don't want to store the first value. Um, in Scala, there is a uh, kind of like a wild card. Um, in Scala, it's a underscore. So an underscore means that we, we really don't care. We, we don't want to deal with it. Um, so in this case, we'll just store the value B being 5. And we only get 5. Um, so I hope that's given you a little insight into tuples um, and return values. Uh, I hope that made a little bit of sense. Uh, I know that was a little bit more complex than the first two. Um, but if you have any questions, then I'll be more than happy to answer them. So uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. Bye.